Wait till you smell it. Oh boy. <laughs> Cut cam on. I have a cut yes, Nick. Higher camera that angle. Is, cut cam that is on. the most important thing in this room. <laughs> Alright, before I jump in, uh, a little bit of housekeeping. I'm changing my upload schedule. It used to be Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, I'm going to change it to Thursday, Sunday, Monday is going to be it now. You're still going to get the saucy, sex, sexy sauce time Sundays with somebody. Justin is my son, but somebody. You're watching this on a Sunday. Uh, tomorrow, there'll be a video, and then the coming Thursday, there's going to be a video. Uh, also, I am looking for an animator. So if you make graphics to help me with my outro screens, my intro screens, I want to do a little bit of, you know, sexy sauce time Sunday branding with these videos and things like that. I got some things that need to happen. I want, I want t-shirts to be made. Anyways. How are you just going to spring this on me in the video? This is awesome news, and you're just all of a sudden just dumping so, it in my lap. If you're a graphic designer, if you're an animator, hit me up. Okay, getting into it. All right. I punished myself and Alex recently with Thor's, ha with Thor's Hammer. Okay? <laughs> Thor's Hammer is the hottest all-natural sauce that I've ever had in my life. Or the hottest sauce without extract that I've ever had. It's so hot, I don't understand how they can make it that hot without extracts. Really? It's so freaking hot, but it's delicious. That's a that's a big claim. It right really, there. it's so that is freaking a big claim. It is so hot. But anyways, so we have three sauces from the same company, Volcanic Peppers, and I really I hold this company in high regard. So, um, two of these sauces I've never had. One of them I have had, but I want your reaction to it. Okay. Okay. So three sauces. We have Twisted Pickle Hot Sauce, and the second that I, that this arrived, I tasted it. Okay. And I have it at my house. Okay, I'm gonna end it there. That's because we'll, we'll get I there. like that. We'll get I there. like that. And then these two sauces I've never had before. So this is a raspberry, a raspberry scorpion, scorpion hot sauce. Can't get that out. I'm assuming it's going to have dessert flavors and things like that. Probably, it's yeah. got a raspberry in it. Yeah. We'll get. We'll find out. And another one is a wicked whiskey steak sauce. And this is a steak sauce. It's a steak sauce. And I'm gonna be honest. I don't really normally. Uh, sauce mistake? Or no, no. I a, good cut, a good cut of steak, you don't need that. I mean, you sometimes don't. I'll have a little bit of sauce, or I'll make like a, uh, a reduction out of juices or something like that, but sometimes I'll put some powder on there, man. Some reimagined on a steak is some darn good stuff. Anyways, okay. So, and we're gonna try their steak sauce too. Okay. I, I don't. I've, I've never had a, spa a spicy steak sauce. Neither have I. Okay. Where would you like to begin? We're gonna do the raspberry scorpion last because I say it's start on this end and go down. Let's go down. Yep. All right, we're starting Straight with steak down. sauce. Because that one's different. Yes. We've never done a steak sauce, so I think we should go in fresh. Absolutely. I like it. All right, so this is Whisked, This is Wicked Whiskey Spicy Steak Sauce. Yeah, they're calling it a medium heat. I'll hold the bottle up for you. Somebody had left a comment. They were like, why don't you ever show us the bottle? So that, that's, that's a good point. So I bottle. do like that. Um, all right, so the ingredients are tomatoes. Uh, uh, scotch whiskey, interesting. Apple cider vinegar, water, chili peppers. Uh, I want to know what chili peppers are. Molasses, orange juice. Orange juice is an awesome addition. Uh, onion, garlic, raisins, awesome. Really? S spices, salt, sugar, tamarind, and xanthan gum. Uh, I like the orange aspect of it. I hope I, 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 hope I can get every sauce peppers. we've had that it has orange juice added to it is really good. Was it a good one? It, it? it was a good one. I'll, I kinda I'll just, watch the video. I just go for it. <laughs> so. While well, sipping some whiskey, the idea just came. Steak sauce. The sauce offers deep flavor with hints of malt and caramel from the scotch whiskey. Sweetness from the raisins and molasses. Savory from the tomato, garlic, and onion. And finishes with a nice bite from the chili peppers and secret spices. No rest for this wicked steak sauce. Pour it on. So he's, he's saying pour it on. So I'm assuming he's saying it's like kind of a medium. It's not, that, it's not terrible. And he's being he's being a little secret guy with what peppers With the peppers, with the peppers in, yeah. With the peppers in the here. Secret, yeah, the secret So uh, normally I have... Uh, when it's just like where it just says spices, it just says peppers. I, I kind of I, I want to know. I want to know what's in the bottle. Well, absolutely. But absolutely. at the same time, but if he's like make if, if if he's making the claim like this is my this is my secret blend of of, of peppers, then I, I, I'll, I'll go for it. Let's good. run with it. I'll let it go. No dropper. <laughs> no dropper. If there was a dropper on a steak sauce, I would have yeah. some serious issues. I'm to open a knife. Spoon. It looks great. It looks it like does. a steak sauce. It does look like a steak sauce. You know, it's got those uh, it looks just traditional like look of every steak sauce that there's I've more, ever seen. There's more consistency than a normal steak sauce. It's definitely thicker. Sauce. I like that. It's, you know, it's gonna stick. And I mean the stuff in it, too. It's going to stick to it. I can see, like, pep black pep pepper. Oh, that smells incredible. Peppers. Uh, I smell vinegar this far away from the spoon. That smells incredible. Wow, that smells great. This is going to be good. Yeah, hold on. The molasses and 
vinegar and I get, to, I get the vinegar big time. I get a lot of sweetness, man. And like dark roasted. It's it does of, have like that, like didn't they say mm. this, the Scotch whiskey barrels or whatever? The Scotch aged, whiskey is in here. You, you get like the barrel smell almost, like mm. the aged. Yep. Cheers, man. I can't wait. That's incredible. Wow. That's got a little spice to it. It's got a little bit of a hit. A little bit of a kick to it. Mm. That's good. That's really good. That would okay. be really good on a steak. That'd be really good on a burger. Oh, yeah. Is that what that would be? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you right now. So, I got I, rec I recently got a, um, a meat grinder. Okay. And I've been grinding my own burgers at home. Okay. And so I'll get like a nice steak. Like, I like to do like really fatty, like a, like a, like a ribeye. Mm-hmm. Something leaner like a um, uh, like a flank steak or a uh, flat iron. That's what I'm going for. A flat iron. And I'll make a blend. And this would be freaking perfect to like into it. And make it into it. Yep. A lot of times I don't like to. I like to kind of keep it pure. Yep. But if you were to like add a, like something like a sauce to that that beef blend, this would be really good. Um, I would say this is just gonna be really good on beef in general. Oh yeah. I'm absolutely. thinking like. I want to like drizzle this on like beef kebabs on my grill or something like that and get like a little bit of caramelization going because there's molasses in here. I'll uh, get that going. Um, if you're a person that uses sauce with a steak, like this is going to be fantastic. It's got the thickness that's going to stick to it. It's, um, uh, I would say medium to mild on the heat. And mine's already kind of going away. Yeah. I mean, it's, I, it's not bad it's, at all. It's, it's, it's got a, it's got some spice you going on. It's enough to notice it's, it's there. It's there, but it's not overpowering in any way, shape or form. Yep. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I've never had a. I haven't had a ton of steak sauces in my life. I've, but this I is, think I've really only had a one. I know this is probably one of the best ones, yeah. or it's got to be among yeah. the best ones I've ever had. I agree. I think it's fabulous in that regard. Um, anything beef, this is gonna be good on. Yep, absolutely. Um, but I would do like I'm gonna say like uh, red meat, fattier cuts of meat, things like that. It'd be really good. Um, you might even be able to put this on vegetables too. Um, some shish kebab, some, grilled, some, grilled vegetables. Some glazed asparagus. Yeah, so I'm just in grilled. Grilled flavors is what yep. I'm getting here with this. Okay, uh, great. All right, moving on. Twisted pickle. Dude, I'm interested to see how you you think about what or what you thought your thoughts on this. It, I like pickles a lot. It's so a, we just did the pickle it video. It's a Actually. weird sauce. It is, is it? so weird okay. Okay. In, a, in a very cool way. Okay. I like it. Okay, so... I'll read the bio first. Uh, Twisted Pickle Hot Sauce is another one of the one of a, another one of a kind creation from Volcanic Peppers. This sauce is like a sweet and spicy relish in a hot sauce bottle. Pour it generously on hot dogs, burgers, brats, sandwich, and more, and you'll not be disappointed. See, I had this on a brat for the first. Time. I was just, brats. That's what yeah, I was I just got, thinking. I got. I, I'm a purist when it comes to certain things. Like so, if I go to a hot, if I go to uh, like a baseball game, I, I only put mustard on my hot dogs. Like really? I'm just a mustard guy on hot dogs and that's ketchup. I that's like on a, on a hot dog. But when you get into brats, bigger, meatier, I, I can that sour I can move get around a little bit. Pepper, sauerkraut, mustard. And I, was, and, I, and I read the recommendation and I tried it with this. Pretty good. I was out in Denver, my brother-in-law and I, we got some fresh brats and I brought the sauce with me and we had it and it worked out really well. So, okay. I'm a big fan of brats, so I'm excited. A that little was perfect. It's a little fast. That was, that was a little perfect. fast, but it's perfect. <laughs> All right, ingredients. Ingredients are house-made sweet pickles, which are cucumbers, vinegar, onions, sugar, salt, and spices, cayenne pepper, vinegar, sugar, and xanthan gum. So it has a sweetness to it. Okay. Okay. So it's going to be really pickle forward. Pickles number one ingredient. It's, it house tastes, made pickles. It tastes like pickles. Okay. But notice the color. You know. I it's, know. It's dark. It's dark. It's dark. So, so you guys want to check out the check out the label. It's a nice bottle. It's cool. Nice presentation. Yeah. I like that. I like the label. So do I. It's like a yeah, a twisted pickle. It's a tornado of pickles. It's low, and it's pepper. low on the the uh, thing too. Oh yeah. So they're saying it's mild. It is yeah. definitely a mild, mild sauce. Yeah. So go ahead and do as much or as little as you'd like. Oh, Justin, loading up. Yeah, I'm trying. These are big spoons today, too. They are very large these are, spoons. These are like the second largest spoons that I have. Yeah, they're okay. very large. Cheers. Dude, it tastes like a pickle. It tastes like relish. It does. It tastes it like really a sweet does. relish. But, like, it doesn't... Mm. 
It's not a harsh pickle taste, though. No, it's, it's weird. Like, it's it, it's very, it's incredibly reminiscent of those uh, butter pickles. You know? Yeah, that's like sweet it's, butter it's, pickles. Yeah, exactly. You're it's exactly great. right. It's, it's not. Great. It doesn't have like that harsh pickle taste that normally comes through with a mm -hmm. pickle, but you get it. It's absolutely it's really got good. like that kind of like that mildness to it. Um, a toned down pickle. Yeah, that that was good. I could see this almost with like some Asian dishes too. Like, oh, absolutely. Like I can see this on pork, like in a pork, yeah. like a stir fry kind mm -hmm. of. There's like a stickiness this to it. Like it, that sounds super weird, but there's like a stickiness to this that I actually really enjoy. Um, but I put this on brats and it was great. I can only imagine. You know, fabulous. I can see it on a burger. Anything that you'd normally be adding pickles to, and you want to add a pickle sauce to it. Yep, it's gonna work out great. Yep. And a very slight spice to it with the pickle uh, flavor. Very, 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 very minimal. minimal. Very, minimal. very minimal. Okay. Moving on to the third and final. Uh, raspberry scorpion hot sauce. And this is, he's saying this is hot. It's up there. He's saying hot. It's up there. I'll let you guys check out the label. Okay. So, raspberry, raspberry scorpion. I cannot say raspberry scorpion today. My God. Raspberry scorpion is a very hot sauce that, can, that combines raspberry peaches and the super hot Trinidad Maruga scorpion. The sweetness from the fruit comes first, and then the heat from the blend of the hot chili pepper sneaks up and stings you. Perfect for the serious chili head. So he says this is a chili head sauce. This is going to be freaking packing a punch. Um, yeah. And that's exactly how scorpions are going to work. Scorpion peppers work, so it's not going to. It's going to take a second. That's you know, it takes uh, the 15, 20 seconds to kind of come in. Um, our ingredients are raspberries, peaches, vinegar, chili peppers, and he's telling us this time scorpion Thai, habanero, and smoked boot jalokia. All right, he's doing this Thai pepper. The Thai pepper works like a habanero, which adds more sting. So he's trying to make this hot. He's making it stingy. He did the same thing in Thor's hammer. He added Thai chilies to Thor's hammer. I think. I might be misstepping here. If I am, I apologize, but I think that's what's going on. Uh, water, lemon juice, garlic, sugar, salt, spices, and xanthan gum. See, now I'm afraid of my freaking spoonful spoonful now. And this giant spoon we have. I know, it's a big spoon. <laughs> oh, I hope I'm not we setting myself up. We have the Thor's hammer of spoons here. I know. Hopefully I'm not setting myself up for failure at the moment. Okay. Sounds very loose. Um, yeah, it's got some looseness to it. Uh, I can see, was that garlic? Garlic, I think. I can see garlic floating in here. I can see seeds floating in here. I can see the skins and the peppers floating in here. I can see black pepper floating in here. Um, all of these sauces have been kind of, well, okay, not the, the steak sauce is like, for a steak sauce, kind of like the perfect texture. Um, I could go, honestly, I could go for a little bit thicker of a texture on this one just to make sure it's Well, especially, yeah, especially, yeah, if you're going to put it on brats and stuff like that, you kind of want it to. But we don't need, out. I don't want to back step too much. No. Okay. This is so, I'm so, the color of it. Looks like a hot sauce. It looks like a hot sauce, but the, the first two ingredients are raspberries Ooh. and peach. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That's a scary, <laughs> a scary noise you just made. <laughs> So, for the first two ingredients being raspberries and peaches, it doesn't look like the first two ingredients are raspberries no, and peaches. No, no. Not at all. Wait till you smell it. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, it smells like scorpion pepper. It smells hot. It smells, <laughs> it smells really, really hot. hot. It smells like peppers. Yeah. Mm. Let's get it over with, I guess. Oh, it's a hot one. Yes, it is. Oh, I'm gonna let this one come in. It's warm. It's warm. It's warm. It's warm. Oh, it's coming. There it is. Okay, now the scorpion's just now hitting me right if now. You, when you swallow the second time, it uh, yeah, my and my lips are kind of chapped. Man, the raspberry is delicious on this. I love the raspberry and the peach. It's, you almost gotta like, like, drinking so much of the sauce that I had right there, I didn't get the raspberry and the peach that much. And I licked the very end of the spoon, and I got like all raspberry and peach the second time around. Man, I'm a, having a hard time figuring out exactly how I feel about this sauce. Um, I know how I feel about it. So, I'm definitely getting the raspberry and the peach. I didn't get and, I, and I love that flavor of that. And then I'm getting just 
obliterated by the scorpion pepper. This is a very, it's very, mouthy. very hot sauce. It is extremely hot. Extremely hot sauce. Very hot. Um, I'm trying to think of the best use for this. Um, okay, so if you have sweetness from fruit, what would fruit go on? So I would say uh, light, lighter meats, white meats, pork, um, chicken. Um, I could see this on fish, salmon, maybe. And fish I would, would use, be good. I use this as like a glaze, yeah. almost. Um, or it's like a very small dipping sauce, you know, because this is like brutally hot. Um, so I can see it as a glaze and a light dipping sauce. Um, pork. Um, I was going to say grilled, but maybe some grilled stuff because you got some sweetness and you get some caramelization going on. You might be able to marinate some things in this. Um, wow. Um, I'm trying to, if you can, leave a comment below and tell me what you think you would use this for because. It's, 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 it is definitely, you're getting the raspberries, but it's so hot. It's very hot. It's so hot. And a lot of times, these super, super hot sauces, or I mean, these dessert sauces, these fruit forward sauces don't come with this much heat no. to them. No. And so, uh, it's... It, <coughs> I'm having a hard time kind of I, wrapping my mind around I'm like this. I'm struggling over here. I'm not putting my input in because I'm struggling right now. You struggling with <laughs> <Yeah>. this? <laughs> my lips are on absolute <coughs> fire right now. It's hot. And I'm man. trying to think back because like we've had like mango sauces and yeah. stuff like that. I can't remember a dessert sauce this hot. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I'm not even trying to treat it as like a dessert sauce. I, I wouldn't say I, I obviously I wouldn't say this is a dessert sauce. No, I don't. I don't think this would be a good. It's too hot to it's, be a dessert sauce. I mean, you could put it in ice cream, but I don't think it's I don't think it's fruit forward enough to be a dessert sauce. It definitely is fruit, but I think it's like fruit forward in like no. Fruit it's fruit not the, like, that's not the first flavor that you that stands out. A lot of times you see like uh, yeah. like an apple puree or something like that with a pork chop or something like that or some sort of uh, jam or jelly that's going to be served with light meats or fish or things like that. And that's See, I think this would be good on fish. That's where I'm seeing this going. Fish would be, I think, I'm the seeing, best thing for it. I'm brushing this on salmon and grilling uh, it. Uh, yeah. You know, like that's kind of where I'm seeing it. That's, yeah. Dude, when you, you could, said fish, I think that stood out the most. You could even brush scallops with this and sear scallops off. Uh, shrimp. You could put, you could do this a glaze and shrimp. A glazed really shrimp would be, pro glazed, glaze it with shrimp, uh, some shrimp and then grill it. Oh man, take this, add a little bit of honey to it and, and, and do some shrimp. It'd be great. It's hot though, man. Um, okay. It it's very stingy. Yeah, it's super stingy. Stingy that's is the, the word. That's scorpion stingy. and those Thai. <laughs> the Thai chilies and scorpions, man. That's what it's. Thai is what you yes. need. It. It's a Thai yes. chili. With the heat of the scorpion. This is a, a freaking evil mix of peppers right here. You're doing a job. Okay, so quickly to break them down. Fabulous steak sauce. Great texture. Incredible. Incredible, Incredible. Incredible steak sauce. Put it on any beef, you know. Yes. Um, a dill pickle hot sauce. Or not a dill, a, a sweet pickled hot sauce. Never had one before in my entire life. Put Love it. On it. Brats. Very Grilled good. Brats. Great on brats. Fantastic. Uh, raspberry peach scorpion sauce. Brutally hot. Uh, I can see it on fish, light meats, things like that. Maybe more. Having a hard time wrapping my mind around it. Uh, it's it's hot. It's super hot. Justin, thank you for joining. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you to the fine people over at Volcano Pepper for sending these sauces. In the description below will be a link to all of Justin's social media as, long, as well as a link to the website. So if you, these, any of these sauces uh, sing to you, then you can uh, go ahead and pick those up. Appreciate you guys just checking out the video. See you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.